Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me in California. It is time for car week. We've parked up my SLS Black Series in Germany, flown over, hopped straight off an 11 hour flight. And here we are in Carmel to go and chase some of the supercars and hypercars. There are so many things around. Now for the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing some cool stuff. We have Quail with the introduction of a new Bugatti and a new McLaren. Stay tuned for those. Then we've got exotics on Broadway, catching up with Zenvo. We're going to be at Pebble Beach. There are just, I mean, a GT3 and I think a CLK Black Series and just endless awesome cars driving past here in Carmel. This is my fifth time out here for Car Week and actually driving around kind of under the radar in the GLC thanks to Mercedes-Benz. Going to be covering some awesome stuff with them, the new G63 4x4 squared, plus a pretty awesome drive out as well. But for now, this evening, with the atmosphere, with the buzz, let's go see what we can find. Let's go see what's around here in Carmel and Monterey for Car Week. In the traffic there, in front of that DB11, is an Ultime, an Ultime Coupe, one of 350 in the fog right now. Local weather all over the place. The funny thing about this is that we're following this Ultime and right in front is a highway patrol. <laughs> He's probably acutely aware of that, as I probably should be as well. <laughs> and everyone just slows down a touch. Better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Crazy. Like an SVJ without a wing on the back. Mad thing. Random McLaren 720S and a 45488 Spider just sitting up there as well. 991.1 GT3. There's a Wraith, a couple of cars behind it as well. Porsches everywhere at the moment. Ah, a new Z. First one of those I've seen driving. That's kind of cool. Is that a DBS just up there in the traffic? Green DBS, I think. Anyway. Oh, R8. R8 just comes down there towards us. Yeah, and I, I just, yeah, cars everywhere. Case in point, in the car park just there, it's an SF90 Assetto Fiorano. Just chilling. As you do. <laughs> oh, you do not know what is going to be around the next corner. No sooner than we've gone around one single extra corner and we have an SLS parked just there. It's in front, is that a 2002 right in front of it? Nice. Cool pairing of German cars. I'm gonna go to the high street now. Oh, look, 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 McLaren Sabre. One of only 15 in the world. Sparky's Sabre, amazing. So cool. I, I don't even know where to begin with this. I don't know where to begin. Around the next corner, we have a 911 Speedster with some 911R style stripes over the top of the Golf Blue. We've got an AMG GTR Pro, just a couple up ahead as well. This is car spotting dreamland. It's simply absurd. Like we haven't even picked up the camera to film kind of your normal 458s and that kind of thing because there are so many. That's actually a nice Boxster in purple. Very similar to my GT4 color that I had on it. And we're just, I don't even know where we're going, but I do know that there are gonna be supercars. That is a 250 SWB, short wheelbase. Don't know if it's an original one. Around here, you can never really tell. But either way, it looks very, very pretty. And all meanwhile, we've got a GT3 Touring following us, which is, I mean, just, again, part of it all. Oh, LFA, Lexus LFA, we go around the corner and there's a Mercy. So we've got a solar beam G-Wagon on the right, a Lexus LFA right in front of it. Then over on the left side, 300 SL Gullwing, I hadn't even spotted that, 300 SL, an LP640. Aye, this is just, there's another Mercy on the other side of the road. I don't even know where to look or go or try and squeeze through and go around and <laughs> STO, Viola Pacifei STO, which is a color a lot of people often think mine is. In front of that is that Gallardo, um, original pre-facelift Gallardo. What's coming past us? Nice, M3 Saloon, DBX, 812, just in front of that. Oh, there's the Touring, <laughs> the Touring's gone past. I, I just, 
every street corner. What is this? Gallardo is now alongside us. Is that, that might be the DBS from earlier. I'm gonna make my way across the junction here. This is silly. What do we have there? GT40? Oh, GDC for Lasso with a whole lot of stickers on it. Oh, okay. What? What is this? <laughs> Turn down a random side street, and yes, there's a bright orange Vantage. And a DB11 Volante. On the right, we have one Lamborghini Urus. In front of that, after the bikes, we have another Lamborghini Urus. On the left-hand side, we have a, I want to say 70s 911 of sorts. In front of that, we have a 650S. We have an AMG GT Roadster coming towards us. We have a 718 GT4 on the right. <laughs> it's like a moving motor show of sorts. Completely just nice cars endlessly. What's lurking just here? 720S. Every second car parked on the road and then coming towards us, 458. Literally every second car is something of interest just something cool <laughs> bang on cue <laughs> pagani huayra roadster <laughs> what on earth <laughs> squeezing down now another gallardo is that an lp570 superleggera no no i think that's a preface preface i mean corvettes we probably can't call out every single corvette what's around the corner just there an f8 ferrari f8 Good colour choice. I think that might be Verde British, the dark green on the F8 Tributo. Um, then next up, other than the people in the road, we have a 12C coming towards us, a DBX. After the DBX, <laughs> it's just one after another after another. That is slammed, actually. That's a really low riding Lusso. Looks good, though. Then another 458 on the right. SLR coming towards us. Mercedes SLR McLaren coming right down towards us. And the iconic silver. That sounds good. That's not a standard exhaust on that. And we've got another Aventador just here. Aventador with a wing on the back. There's another Aventador in front of this AMG GT, the turquoise AMG GT, and then another Aventador right in front of that. It's amazing to see this. It's absolutely amazing to see how many cars are here. I mean, there's a crazy massive wing G911, something or other on the other side. It's come to a stop. I don't know who has priority or what here, but we'll work it out. I don't even know what that is, but it looks like an MP car or something. I've got to roll here because there's an F12 TDF casually now parked just there. We drove past a moment ago and an R35 GTR right behind. But yeah, 107.99. I guess that's TDF blue with the gold wheels, which is nice. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking around, seeing what else is around. And over there is Stradman's Bugatti Veyron disappeared behind the trees, followed by an ultraviolet GT3 RS. Uh, I feel like we need to go and catch James somehow. Right, let me go work this out. Well, this dials up the ante a bit. James heading past with his now pink and chrome Bugatti Veyron. There's a green Huayra BC just over there as well. Then, that's cool. We've got Stefan rocking the RX-7. Then over this way, I'm gonna squeeze around. Can't quite tell what's coming at the moment, but over that side, we've got a Chiron, well, two Chiron first sports actually. One beside another. Off goes the Purse Ball, fantastic. Nice. Oh, California T. Just rolling cars everywhere you look. This is when you have no idea what's coming towards you. But it looks like a 16M. It is a 16M. One of the 499 430 Scooter Air Spider 16Ms. Well, this just got quite exciting. Multiple Koenig's eggs. That's Matt, the Agera RS. With the crazy, crazy, crazy design on it. 
followed by another crazy design on the CCX, followed by the Regera. Triple Koenigseggs. Listen to that. And then the Regera to round off the back. Wow. That's cool. I can hear the whistles of the turbos in an Agera. <laughs> They've done a loop around. Slightly drizzling here. That's cool. That's so cool. Three Koenigseggs. Cruising up the road, followed by a DBX. A couple of Mustangs around and somebody's been pulled over for something on the other side of the road. We've got to have the camera rolling here. This is very, very cool. Very, very cool looking with people here as well. Obviously, when you drive with three Koenigseggs, certainly draw some attention. Is that a 707? Is that a new 707? I think that was a new 707. DBX. We have a Pista Spider, white with red stripes, red details. Just murmuring up the high street. It's getting pretty foggy here. Tends to do that out here, depending on the <laughs> depending on the evening and what the weather's up to. That is a Shelby GT350 Heritage, white with the navy blue stripes. And the piece of spider is actually parking up. It's got a red interior to match with the red details on the exterior. It sounds quite good, parking up here. Spotted lurking in the shadows, the pink and chrome of James's Bugatti, the same car that I rode in with him a year and a half or so ago. Back then it was purple. This is one of the things out here at night. It's really very, very dark. I'd love to see this chrome with the pink out in the daylight so hopefully we'll have a catch up at some point during the coming days but either way it's looking very very cool there we're listening to something if we come through this way is that the nsx it's unusual to sound quite so loud acura nsx new one there's a black svj just there can't really see svj roadster just everywhere. More classic Ferraris, which you can't tell are real or not real. If real, very expensive. Even if not real, still very expensive, potentially. When you're chilling at a junction and an Aventador crawls past. Oh, it's about Aventador. We did actually see that before. Uh, we should probably go, I think. Ah, no, we'll let the uh, C63 go first. And then we're driving with these guys, with Roy and Alex in the Grey Focus RS, past the 570. And that is a another GT3 Touring. Very cool. Uh, right, now we go this way, past the AMG GT. Oh, that's an unusual GT3 RS. The white with the uh, like Tiffany blue wheels, mirrors, and accents on the 997. Mm -hmm back with our Urises from earlier, or at least one of the Urises. We've just stopped for a bite to eat, to have some dinner at least, amongst this searching for hypercars. But to touch on a little bit more what we're expecting to see tomorrow, at least the next updates, Bugatti with a convertible, an open-topped car, a follow-on to the Chiron, but not the complete successor. So I think in much the same vein as the Devo and the Cento Dieci, expect a very limited edition, but with an open roof. More on that very soon. Also from McLaren. Now McLaren are about to surprise everyone with a new Ultimate Series car that doesn't have a V8. And that's all I'm saying. Stay tuned, it's coming very, very soon. And I'm super excited to see exactly what they're doing with that and all of the details and to be able to share it all. But that's not all. We have new cars from Koenigsegg. And I can't say too much about that one quite yet, I don't think. We have Hennessy with the Venom F5 Roadster. They're making 30 of the Roadsters, the open top version of the Venom F5, of which they made 24 coupes. 
So quail is becoming the hypercar event, the hypercar event in the absence of events like the Geneva Motor Show. It's a really, really special place to be. A very, very good crowd, some amazing cars, and the big kickstart really for me of this weekend, really this year. Then I'm gonna be, as I said, catching up with Zenvo to drive the blue TSRS, which I'm really excited about, over to Exotics on Broadway before it's time for Pebble Beach. But there's so much more to see around here. And this evening so far, we've already seen the three Koenigseggs, three Bugattis, two Paganis, SLR, LFA, and a bunch of other cool stuff. There are endless hypercars, like five or six F50s have been driving around, same with F40s and La Ferraris. I'm just here in the evening for a quick little look after dark to see some of the cars as we basically crawl back in our uh, car from where we are at the moment to go. We'll have one or two more places to look at now before we wrap up for the night and get as much rest as possible ahead of Quail. But let's, um, yeah, let's just keep meandering on and see what happens. It's just really hard to spot things in the dark. Even now over there, we've got an F8 and a 488 and a GT3 RS. In the dark, you can't see much. You just have to take my word for it. Well, that's cool. Our fourth Bugatti of the day. <laughs> Another Veyron here. Is that cream against navy? It's quite hard to see in the very, very, very dim light. And we've got an Urus, by the way, in the right lane. Almost didn't mention that. So we are sitting in kind of traffic with a bug. In fact, I'm going to... Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, we're not sitting in traffic with a bug. <laughs> the bug has left the building. We've also got a Porsche of sorts just here that was flaming like crazy. We're going to be pulling off too. I wonder if we'll get any more of that because it was really quite mad. Oh, we were in 993 or 964 or something. I, I just can't tell. It's too dark here. Way too dark. And the, the Veyron is actually up in front. It's popping and burbling away also. I think on our right here is the new Lucid waiting to be uncovered. But I'm going to make my way around the driveway here and just see what we've got. A couple of classic Porsches. Oh, is that the F8 we saw earlier? And a 720. And we're following an F8 as well. Actually, a bit of gridlock because I kind of want to drive through and back out again. Is that satin red, that one up there, I think. It's a bit of a Ferrari traffic jam in here, actually. Just Ferraris trying to squeeze through. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but quite funny. Okay, let's go this way. Carefully does it in the company. I mean, we're following an S63 as well, an S63 convertible which is infinitely cool. Ah, oh, there's the green DBS just up in front. And then we've got two SF90s. Is that DBX Roma? Ah, the uh, white Chiron Perspore is just here. So the Roma, lovely Roadster, Chiron Perspore, and the Dawn. What a nice lineup of cars. Right out this way. I'm coming straight in here for a second. Look at what we've got. Some lovely Mercedes cars, which I am here out with, of course. The classic Mercedes-Benz, including that red CLK 63 Black Series. That's really nice. In fact, it's so nice. I'm going to do something else with that. And also while we're here, oh, they've got the Mercedes-Benz Classic van as well. Naturally. Um, is that the new SL? Not sure which engine derivative. Is that a 63? Could be the 55. Not entirely sure, I have to confess. But cool to see those cars here. Because last year there was a 177 just here. The white one that did Gumball was actually right over there. Um, and that's the thing, right? As you know, Bentley's cru cruising around and driving around and just all around madness i mean look coming this way actually i've got to go the right way around but i'm spotting a yellow dbx and a turbo and look at that nice light blue 992 turbo s just in there what's this that looks old and very expensive and quite amusing to just be parked up there like that Next little line of cars, GT3, Portofino, SF90. 
uh, DBS, F8. On my left, we have an F12 TDF, white TDF there with the Tricolore stripe, flying spur. Oh, if you like cars, this is just dreamland. This is just so cool. Corvette, just like one after another after another. Cool cars. Another new SL, oh, a 550 right behind it. Um, if we go up this way, what do we find? This is quite a good discreet way to be cruising around right now. Anything new up here? Oh, nice. My back. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, no, an 812, but this silver over purple. My back is lovely. Crazy R8, massive wing on it. Lots of SLs, and there's that yellow DBX. And on the right, the uh, Turbo S. It is actually now 11 o'clock at night. We have only been here for a couple of hours. Obviously, a little bit of the jet lag, given we've had a nine hour time change from Frankfurt out to San Francisco and well in need of some sleep before tomorrow morning. But there are so many other places that I haven't been. Of course, there are houses and setups from all of the different companies, Zenvo, Koenigsegg, Pagani, McLaren, Casa Ferrari, all of the stuff around the different events, the auctions, so many incredible cars that get auctioned over this weekend from RM Sotheby's, Bonhams, Gooding & Co, from all the main auction companies. And yeah, we've seen, I don't know, is it about 10 hypercars just in a couple of short hours around town here in Monterey and Carmel. You can probably tell I'm pretty tired, so I'm quite looking forward to getting, to being properly checked in and ready to have a rest ahead of all of this but I wanted to share being out here being in the atmosphere really because you can just feel it's buzzing with so many awesome cars this is the highest density and concentration of epic hypercars and supercars that you will see anywhere in the world ever it is untouched from my experience and we're just at the start of it for me so stay tuned for plenty more I'm looking forward to sharing thick and fast, so look out for all the content and the new releases. But that is it for now. Thank you very much as always for your support, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.